Well, this story has a lot of people talking today. The Minnesota Department of Health now recommends that whether students are vaccinated or not, they should mask up in school this fall. That includes all K through 12 students, teachers and staff. John Croman's in the newsroom with more on that, plus the other safety measures they want schools to follow. John? Hey, Julie, these are not mandates. It'll still be up to local school boards across the state to decide which safety measures to put in place for their students. These are what the Minnesota Department of Health calls recommendations as best practices. Now, they start with all people age 12 and up returning to school being vaccinated. All students, staff and visitors should wear masks inside school buildings, regardless of vaccination status. Schools should keep students three feet apart when possible. Teachers and students should stay home if they've got symptoms and get a test. But mere exposure doesn't require quarantine if, if you've been vaccinated. Many Minnesotans remain unprotected, including all of those under age 12. Given the ongoing pandemic challenge at hand and the importance of giving our students the best opportunity for in-person learning, we really need to use all the tools available to us. Just looking at what's happening with cases rising in Minnesota and across the country, it's more about just keeping us all safe so that we can get back to a place where we don't have masks in school and we can get back to some sort of normalcy. Now that's Greta Callahan, a kindergarten teacher and the president of the Minneapolis Teachers Union. She recently surveyed her members and found that they strongly support requiring masks in classrooms this year. But the school board is still formulating a policy, kind of the rules of the road, and that's something the districts across the state are going to have to decide as we get closer to the start of the new academic year. Julie? All right. Thank you, John.